Well, this wasn't exactly the video I had planned for today, but the tank looks a lot different. Um, there was going to be a video on this, but I guess that's kind of on the side for now. So, as you can see, there is some kind of water marks right there. And that was because I ended up filling the water line too high, which the pump started pushing the water out, which, you know, that's fine. I just cleaned it up. But what I didn't notice is that t t uh, this morning, uh, I came over here and look what happened there's water everywhere and i thought it was the pump at first but the only reason that could have happened is when it was pushing water out the carpet was getting wet uh so i kind of cleaned that up but i looked under here because there was a ton of water and i'm not exactly sure if you can see over there get a flashlight really quick but there was a ton of water under here so i started to clean it up but I don't know if it'll focus very well. There's more water than there was before after cleaning up. And if you can see over there, possibly, if I can find the spot again, right there. Just wait for it. Yup, the tank is leaking. Just as this tank was getting to kind of coming together, and this is what I had planned for this tank, and it was finally coming into i guess my vision the tank pulls a fast one on me and starts to leak so i will have to take this tank down unfortunately i'm not sure if i'll post the other video because it's not going to be the same i might as well do it so expect that later but this video is definitely coming out first so what we can see right here is i'll have to take all the sand out all the rocks out the pump uh the scallop Everything is gonna have to come out and I don't know if stuff will make it or not um, Especially the scalp since that's probably the most uh, I guess the most delicate thing in here, but Yeah, that is Pretty sucky. Uh, I'll have to look for a new tank. I'm not sure if I'll reuse this one I really wanted to but I just don't know anymore but I'll probably go with something like a UNS tank or I don't know, a regular Aquion tank, so I have more volume for other stuff, but man, this just sucks right now. Uh, with enough talking, I'll show kind of the process of how I'm going to take this down, and I guess we'll get right into that. So while I didn't end up filming the process of taking the tank down, everything is fine and in a bucket. Uh, I added everything yesterday. Today is Sunday, so from what I can see, the electric flame scalp is actually opened and I guess already adjusted, which is really awesome since I was super worried about it. Since, like I mentioned in the last clip, it is probably probably the most delicate thing in there. The Gorgonians are closed up, but that makes a lot of sense. The red and the yellow finger were shedding anyways, and the pink pop white sea van. Uh, from what I can see has some sargassum uh, touching it, which is probably irritating it, so that's probably why it's closed, but hopefully everything can last through these next couple of days while they live in the bucket, and I'll be talking about where I'm going to go on moving forward. So I am looking right now currently at a UNS 60U, which is a 20 gallon tank, and if I do end up getting it, we'll be quadrupling the tank volume, going from 5 to 20 gallons. Well, it's more of like, I guess, four and a half to 20 gallons, since I guess you would count the kind of filter compartment that was built in to the back of the tank as some of the tank, uh, or as a part of the five gallons. But apart from going up in fil uh, tank size, we are also going uh, up by about 12 more inches of length, and I guess about five to six more inches of width and height, which will give me a lot more options for stocking since in a five gallon for salt water, you're only limited to about a couple goby species and that's it. Uh, not like fresh water where you can have like all these different things like chili rasboras, clown killies, pygmy sunfish, all this stuff like that. But going up this, uh, I guess, to a 20 gallon, like I mentioned before, we'll have a lot more options for stocking. And I already have kind of a confirmed stocking list that I want to go with. I do want to get the same goby again. I don't think I've said what it is yet, um, but it is a kind of clown goby. Uh, and I'll, I also want to get 
two other fish possibly a third one but these two other ones if you've seen some of my past update videos you already know that i was planning on building a uns 90u which is a 68 gallon and that didn't work out but i did go over some of the fish that i was going to potentially get in there and two of those i do want to make uh i do want to get for this one and you might see a couple of those make an appearance in this new tank invertebrate wise i do want to carry over the ideas that i had for invertebrates to this tank since whatever could fit in the five can definitely fit in the 20 and i am looking at another peterson's cleaner shrimp and hopefully with more hiding spots this time it will not be as stressed out as it was and possibly perish overnight the other invertebrate that i was going to have in the five i don't think i've seen it on this channel either it is a kind of crab but if you follow me on instagram which i'll put up on the screen you already know what it is but if you only watch me on youtube then you are in for a treat this crab isn't I, I wouldn't say it's rare it's just something you won't find often and you probably won't even walk into an lfs and find one you'll probably have to ask them to order one in but it's just this particular color variety which is white yellow and a little bit of black mixed in is i guess the rarest color variety uh that they get in i've been waiting about two months ongoing now uh for this specific one to come in i had like three chances before to get one but i didn't take it because the tank wasn't set up yet and i wouldn't was not comfortable with housing it in the frag tank uh for a while just because i don't think it would have handled the flow right but patience is key and i'm definitely gonna wait for that one as well and i might have a pair of skunk cleaner shrimp in here i'm not exactly sure what i want to do for invertebrates besides those two but i'm not really open to a lot since uh i can't have like stuff like pin cushion urchins or tuxedo urchins since as much as i want those white and purple varieties they'll destroy my macroalgae so i'm not really open to a lot of stuff but it'll be interesting to see where this goes and the great thing about this is that i can basically get uh no new equipment i guess is how i say it or i can carry over a lot of the equipment that was on this tank especially the hydra wave maker which was the most expensive thing at about 68 dollars i'm really glad i can carry that over and this time there won't be as strong of a flow so since the tank is more i guess more there's more space that's obvious but it, there won't be as many i guess waves crashing and i can set up to a higher speed this time since tank dimensions aren't so wacky but i'll have to get a new heater to i need a new 50 watt heater since the awazian one i have is uh 25 watt and that only goes up to 10 gallons so i definitely need a new heater and i might need a new light this top fin light is actually really good for the price of the tank but it's just kind of awkward how uh it's going to be placed on the tank so i'll definitely have to see how much light it'll actually cover across the tank and i might just go with a night crew light instead that covers the whole tank if this one doesn't end up working out and i guess the last thing i should include is i am trying to build a diy stand for it basically the same thing that the king of diy uh king of diy does um joey's done a tutorial on this and i really want to follow that one since it seems like a really uh trustworthy process and remy from bahama llama coral also did this and it seemed to work out great so i'm definitely going to do that and instead of this tank being next to my desk this time i am going to put it up against a wall which there was going to be another tank there but i have an idea for something else that's going to go there and the main reason behind this is i definitely want to test this out on a smaller scale uh the smaller scale being the 20 before i end up doing this with the 100 gallon uh just because i think 20 gallons of water getting on the floor if the stand fails is a lot better than 125 considering there's a sump as well well i don't think the sump would collapse but 100 gallons of water would definitely be devastating on carpet so definitely better to start out with something smaller anyways this wasn't the video i had intended um i did have two other videos planned so those could possibly be coming out today and tomorrow as well but this wasn't i guess the greatest piece of news to start off the week well it was like ending and starting off the week since the leakage happened uh saturday which was yesterday but from here on out it does look like things are going to get better and the new uns tank should be 
if I do get it, it should be a blast. So that's going to be really awesome. So if you would like to follow along the journey of the U UNS-60U, aka a tw new 20 gallon tank that is going to serve as the new photosynthetic and plankton reef, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and sharing this around. As well, let me know what you think the new additions will be to that tank that I'm hinting at. So we can have a little discussion down in the comments. But other than that, my name is Northwest Fishkeeping. Seeing everyone later this week.